In this video, I show you the opening of the second phase of the largest artificial river in Afghanistan. The opening ceremony of the second phase of Quash Tepe Canal construction was held on October 11th, 2023 in Daladabad district of Balk. Although the current budget of the government does not allow such big projects, but as a result of the firm will, this project is being implemented. Big projects are not delayed due to the special situation of the country. Along with this artificial river project, Afghanistan is building the largest agricultural lands next to this canal, which will provide good fruits and vegetables to the people of Afghanistan and the world. This project provides comprehensive facilities to the people. Afghanistan will achieve a great independence by completing this project from the point of view of agriculture and its products at the regional level. Now you see that water has flowed in the desert, which no one could have imagined before. Meanwhile, the first phase of the Quash Tepe Canal was 108 kilometers long and started from the AMUC and ended in Daulatabad district, which was completed within 18 months. The second phase of this canal starts from Daulat Abad district of Balk and ends after passing through Akchi Shaburgan district to Andkoi Faryab district with a length of 177 kilometers. The third phase includes the construction of subchannels. Quash Tepe Canal is 285 kilometers long and 8.5 meters wide and transfers 668.4 cubic meters of water in one second. With the completion of this canal, 580,000 hectares of land in the north of the country will be converted into agricultural land. The first phase of the Quash Tepe Canal is 108 kilometers long, which starts from the AMU River in Kaldar district of Balkh province, passes through the long deserts of Haritan, and reaches Daulat Abad district, and was completed eight months ahead of schedule. Afghanistan's neighbors should have no worries about this channel, and the Afghan people respect their rights from the AMUC. Neighboring countries should also respect the legitimate rights of Afghanistan. Although the current budget does not allow for such a large-scale project, the project is being implemented due to sheer determination. The standing water was released and the bridge over this river was opened. And also the second phase of this canal was opened. People came happily to start the work on the second phase of Quash Tepe Canal. The people of Afghanistan are all united in the realization of the settlement of Afghanistan. Regardless of whether it is the system or the people, they all support each other. Neighboring countries should not worry that Afghanistan will divert all the water resources of the AMUC to itself. The people of Afghanistan confidently respect the rights of their neighbors and seek to establish friendly, positive, and intimate relations with all their neighbors. I am proud to announce that a big channel named Quash Tepe is being formed, which will make Afghanistan self-sufficient in food. With this effort, the goal is that Afghanistan will gain food independence and will not need to import from its neighboring gates. In this channel, the people of Afghanistan have decided to control plant and animal diseases and pests with effective management, and in this way, we will keep unpleasant circles away from ourselves and our dear neighbors. In the opening ceremony of this channel, the great and determined people of Afghanistan announced that they have decided to manage all the waters of the country with their strong will, and in this regard they will not cause any harm to others, and they are also ready not to accept any harm from others. The people of Afghanistan, with a very strong will, have taken a long step towards the settlement of the country in order to turn Afghanistan into an economic and self-sufficient country in the region. We hope that with these efforts, Afghanistan will be able to move on a promising and stable path and achieve the development and welfare of its people. Also, the Gosh Tepe Canal has attracted people from all over the country for tourism and recreation and the development of local people's economy. Today, the majority of countries in the world are facing a water shortage and crisis. Afghanistan is one of the countries that has a roaring sea and many fertile lands, but in most parts and cities of Afghanistan, people are facing a water shortage and crisis. This trend has been going on for years, which continues. The field of water resources management must adapt to the current and future issues that water allocation faces. As the uncertainties of global climate change and the long-term effects of management actions increase, decision-making will become more difficult. It is likely that ongoing climate change will lead to situations which we have not encountered so far 
will result in alternative management strategies to avoid water barriers should be pursued. One of the biggest concerns about resources in the future is the sustainability of the allocation of current and future resources. As water becomes more scarce, the importance of its management increases greatly. Finding a balance between the needs of humans and what the environment needs is an important step in the sustainability of water resources. With the opening of the Gosh Tipe Canal, people's hopes for the future of Afghanistan have increased. Currently, 5.1 billion cubic meters of AMU seawater flows to Uzbekistan, 49.6 billion cubic meters to Tajikistan, and 1.5 billion cubic meters to Turkmenistan. This canal, which starts from Kaldar district of Balkh province and passes through the dry plains of the port town of Harayatan, Daulat Abad Balkh, and Akche district of Jauzyan, will reach Ankoy district of Faryab province and will irrigate more than 500,000 hectares of agricultural land. The people of Afghanistan hope to have complete control over their seas and water resources. Afghanistan's water resources need a complete, accurate, and correct management. Because today, 70% of Afghanistan's water flows to neighboring countries, while Afghanistan uses only 30% of its own water. The seas of Afghanistan have a production capacity of 310,000 megawatts of electricity, but currently 75% of Afghanistan's electricity is imported. If Afghanistan produces the electricity it needs from domestic sources, besides saving millions of dollars in imported electricity, they will provide great areas for production savings. Afghanistan has the largest electricity resources in the region, but relies on imported electricity from Central Asian countries and Iran. Out of the 310,000 megawatts of electricity production capacity in the country, more than 23,000 megawatts can be produced from water resources, more than 200,000 megawatts from the sun, and more than 68,000 megawatts from wind sources in the country. Now the need of the whole country for electric energy is 11,000 megawatts, but it can be seen that luckily a little of this energy is produced from domestic sources. What is very important is that thousands of acres of land around the Gosh Tepe Canal are supposed to be turned into a green area where for years thousands of fish are supposed to be thrown into the water of Gosh Tepe Canal. This will help the country's economy significantly. Fish production is created at a very high capacity. That helped for internal use, and it will continue to be exported abroad to build a fish farm. You need a lot of water and suitable land, and the Gosh Tipe Canal, with plenty of water and suitable land, creates a good environment for creating a fish farm. Fish is one of the richest sources of protein among people's food. It is very important to create a fish farm to increase the quality of food. The limitation of water resources and the need to increase fish production in the country requires that from the available water resources, it should be done in accordance with the principle of sustainable exploitation. Thanks for watching.